Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nantasanaman, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Okay, so today represents the fifth episode of the Web Apps in R series. And today we're going to cover about how you can develop a BMI calculator. So if you're wondering what is a BMI, so essentially BMI stands for Body Mass Index and it is computed by dividing the weight in kilograms by the height in squared meters. So for example, if you weigh 70 kilograms and you are 170 centimeters tall, then you would first have to convert the height to a meter. So 170 centimeters would then become 1.7 meters. And according to the equation, you would take your weight, which is 70 kilograms, divided by 1.7 meter squared. Okay, so let me calculate that. So 1.7 times 1.7 would be 2.89 and if I weighed 70 kilograms divide that by the squared height then my BMI would be 24.2 okay so let's have a look at the scale of the BMI in adults so if you have a BMI below 18.5, then it would mean that you are underweight. If you have a BMI in the range of 18.5 and 24.9, then it means that you have a healthy weight. And if your BMI is between 25 to 29.9, it means that you are overweight. And if you have BMI of greater than 30, then you are obese. Okay, so in the previous example, a BMI of 24.2 would mean that the weight is a healthy weight. So without further ado, let's get started in developing our BMI web application. So you want to go first to the GitHub of the Data Professor. And so click on the code folder. Find Shiny and click on the Shiny folder and then find the 005-BMI, click on that. And then you want to download both the about.md and the app.r into your computer. So why don't we do that, right? Right click on the raw, save link as, and because we're going to download it into a BMI folder, we save it there. And then download the second file. Right click on the raw link. Save link as. Save it to the folder. BMI. Okay. And now we have to upload the folder. Okay. There you have it. You have two files app.r and about.md. So let's have a quick look at what does the file look like. So as usual, the app.r is the R code comprising of the three major components, the UI, the user interface, number two is the server, and number three is the shiny app function, which fuses both the UI and the server function. And then the second file, you have the about.md. So this is written in the markdown language, and it's going to be used by the app.r file. So we're going to see that in just a moment. So before we dive deep into the R code, let's have a look what does the web application looks like. Click on the run app. Okay, so this is a simple web application where you can put in your input height and your weight. So the height will be in centimeters and the weight will be in kilograms. So the minimum value here is 40 for the height and 250 for the maximum value. And for the weight, the minimum value is 20 and the maximum value is 100. So please note that this BMI calculator is developed for adults and it's not suitable for children. If you want to develop a BMI for children, then you will have to refer to this second link here. Okay. 
So as you notice that when I click on the about link on the navigation bar, it shows the information in the about page. So originally the code was written here in markdown language and here in the website, it displays it as a normal web page. So here you can add boldness to the text. You can add superscript, make it stand out as an equation. You could add italic font, right? So all of this is within the markdown language, right? For example, if you for example, if you use two asterisk, it will mean that the text will be in bold text. So meaning that you have to use two asterisks before and after the text that you want to be bold. And if you use the four hashtag, it means that you're going to use the header level four tag, which is the H4 tag in HTML. And if you're using the greater than symbol here, it means that it's going to display this light gray bar to the left. So you know that it's an equation. And if you use one asterisk, then it means that the text will be in italic form, right? And here we use the for hashtag again, and so it becomes a header. And then we make the BMI calculator in italic form by using the asterisk before and after. And even add the links to the website, right? So the text that you want to make into a link, you have to put that in bracket. And immediately following that, you have to put in parenthesis the URL of the web page. And so this is formatted like a normal web page. And so the web application, and so the web application is mobile friendly and you can use it on your mobile phone. Okay, it would look something like this on the phone. And if you click on it, then you get the BMI, right? In my previous example, a height of 170 and a weight of 70, you would get a BMI of 24.22145 and because we're rounding it and therefore we get 24.22. Okay, so this web application seems simple enough. Okay, and so let's dive deep into the R code. Okay, so let's have a look at the code of the app.r file. So the first two lines here will be the loading in of the library package of Shiny and Shiny Thing and then following that we have the user interface so inside the UI object it's going to be the fluid page function and here we will define that we're going to use the shiny theme of United and let's run the app and have a look okay so here the navbar page function shows that we're going to use the name of this navigation bar to be BMI calculator and then the tab panel will have the first navigation tab here to be home okay and inside the tab panel here we're going to use the sidebar panel and the main panel so as usual the sidebar panel is right here to the left and to the right in the status output we're going to have the main panel right so the sidebar panel will contain the input parameters which comprises of two input parameters the height and the weight and we're using a slider input so you can slide the bar here and then you get the desired value click on the submit button and then you get the calculated BMI value Okay, so the slider input here is responsible for this slider button and so the name of this slider input is called height here in label height and the first one will be the ID of this specific slider input and so this slider input has an ID of height notice the small h and then the second slider input has a value of weight and notice the small w and so these two slider input will then be used in the next step it will be used by the server function as the input dollar sign weight and input dollar sign height in order to calculate the BMI okay and then the action button function will be the red button that you click to initiate the calculation process and so the main panel will have the h3 tag here showing the status output okay and then the verbatim text output will contain the contents id which is from the output in the server function and then the table output is also from the output of the server function it is called the table data and this is the table data containing the computed BMI value. So let me recap that again. 
So here the slider input, we have two of them, height and weight. And so it will be referred to as input dollar sign height, input dollar sign weight. And as the user slides this value, it will adjust the value to the height parameter or the weight parameter. And the input dollar sign height value and the input dollar sign weight value will then go to the server function. I will show you right now right here. So it go to the server function in the equation that we're going to compute the BMI. So here we're taking the input dollar sign weight, dividing it by, in parenthesis, the input dollar sign height divided by 100, right? Because we want to convert the centimeters to become meter. So we have to divide the centimeter value by 100, and that will then make it a meter form. And then we're going to multiply the height by itself so that we get the squared height value. And then we're going to divide the weight by the height in order to get the BMI. And we're going to encapsulate the BMI value inside a data frame so that we can display it in the final output here below. In the output contents, it will show that the server is ready for calculation or the server has already completed the calculation. So this will be modified by the submit button, the red button that we clicked right here. So when we don't click the button, it will say server is ready for calculation. But upon clicking on the red button, the BMI will be calculated. And then in this text box, the text will change to calculation complete. Okay, and in the following output results here, it's called the output dollar sign table data. And inside here, we're going to use the render table function. So the results from the data set input will be the computed BMI value right here in the print BMI. So let me recap again. Let's have a look at the web application again. So this web application will take two input parameters, the height and the weight, and they are in the centimeter unit. And the height and the weight will be referred to as input dollar sign height and input dollar sign weight. And upon clicking on the red button, it will be sent to the server function into this BMI calculator function. So it will then take the input weight and the input height and perform the calculation and return the BMI value. And then we put the BMI value into a data frame and then we print it out. And the results of the BMI that is printing out is part of the data set input variable. And that is called within the render table function of the output dollar sign table data and the output dollar sign table data will go to the main panel right here in the main panel to be displayed in the table output and it looks like this right here so you see that it's called bmi and then we have the bmi value right beneath it right and that's all there is to building this bmi web application so you can play around with this code and you can change the default value. For example, the height, you could make it 180 and the value of the weight, you could make it say 75, right? And then run the code again. And so the default value then becomes updated to be 180 and 75. So let's say that you wanna update the maximum value to be 300, minimum value to be 50. And the weight, you want to update it to say 30 and the maximum would be 120 and then reload the application and here you see the minimum values and maximum values are updated accordingly so you see here if the weight is maintained the same and the height increases then the BMI becomes less but if the height decreases then the BMI is high right because of the equation of the BMI whereby the weight is divided by the height squared Okay, and so you can play around adjusting the values, play around with the template. So let's say you wanna change the United theme to become a Cerulean. Save it, reload the app, and here you go. You get a different colored web application, right? So the types of theme could be obtained by looking at the website. So you could Google that. Google for shiny themes, click on the Click on the rstudio.github.io slash shiny themes. So I'll provide the link in the description down below. So check that out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.
But in the meantime, please check out these videos.